Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this Oculus Quest 2. Uh, I was lucky enough to get one of these for Christmas. I've had it for a few weeks now, and since I've had it, I've made multiple hardware upgrades on it, so I thought I would just show you what I've done to make mine as comfortable as possible to play. So I'm a huge fan of VR. I first got to try VR in 2013 and I thought it was neat. Uh, and then in 2016, a friend of mine invested in HTC Vive. I believe it was 2016 when they first came out and I was blown away by it. Uh, with like Valve's tech demos at the time, I thought it was really neat. And VR is the only form of media that's ever induced a uh, fear of heights in me, where it's like, it really cheats your brain into thinking you're actually looking down off a cliff in the game if you are. And uh, it's really cool. So in 2018, uh, I bought a PSVR. Uh, I've loved that. In fact, uh, on, my, my, on my PS4, which has gotten plenty of use, it's gotten more use in VR than anything. And I've really enjoyed sharing a handful of games with friends and family. I think it's a lot of fun to share VR. I was lucky enough for Christmas, my parents got me this Oculus Quest 2. And so far, I, I really like it. The idea that this thing is just a standalone unit, this is all it is and you just put it on, I think is fantastic. Uh, it's got good controllers, they work really well, and the controls are easy to understand and pick up and play, which I like. I've been really happy with it, but it hasn't been perfect. Over the last few weeks, I've done multiple things to attempt to make it more comfortable. This is the base strap that the Quest 2 came with. And as you can see, it's just a really, um, it's just a piece of fabric. Uh, there's nothing to it. It's got no weight to it. Now, coming from the PSVR, the PSVR is actually extremely comfortable. There's a few things. Uh, not only does it have a nice adjustable head strap, the uh, you can slide the uh, the front uh, face plate or I guess the headset itself in and out to adjust it and the way that you're wearing it the weight is distributed on your head not on your face the oculus quest 2 with the base cheap strap that it comes with um, the weight of the headset all the hardware is right in here you're holding that up with your face and it's it's different and it's admittedly it can get tiring quickly because it's kind of pulling your face down as you're playing <laughs> And this also would get out of adjustment easily, and I'd have to frequently adjust it, and it was annoying. And I knew I was going to upgrade it right away. Now, Oculus makes their own deluxe strap that comes with a carrying case. And that looked really nice, and I was going to buy that, but just doing research over the last several weeks, what I was finding, or what I was hearing, was that the first batch of them, the straps would break right here. And apparently a lot of people haven't had issues with it, but there's been enough issues that Oculus is apparently redesigning them, but they also extended the warranty on theirs to two years. So because theirs is having issues, they've extended the warranty. Just to avoid that altogether, just doing research, I saw that people were adding these things. So I ended up buying this instead. So this is the HTC Vive uh, Deluxe Audio Strap. Uh, so this, this fits very nicely, uh, but it does require adapters. These are 3D printed adapters that I bought on Amazon. I wish that I could just print them out myself, but I'm not that savvy. With these, these clip onto the headset, and then you just clip the deluxe audio strap onto the adapters. And then that's it. And there's an extra adapter in the front here. And when you put the faceplate on, the faceplate holds this additional adapter in place, and then you can just loop the strap around. This has made a massive difference. Not only is it much, much easier to adjust for different players, this just unthreads right here. So it's much easier to adjust for, uh, for different players or to remove and put back on. And you can also adjust the strap right here. It's a lot easier to just put it on, get it set, and then start playing. This holds the VR unit to your head much more securely. It's less likely to move out of place than with the cheap strap it came with. It also helps balance the weight. That was the big thing. The most annoying thing, I thought this was just kind of uncomfortable on your face because you're, you're holding the weight up with just this itself. This distributes the weight and balances it more towards the back of your head. So it, it doesn't take all the weight off of the front end, but it helps balance it significantly. And I've, I've seen other people will add battery packs, big honk and extra batteries to the back, and that will help balance it even further and distribute the weight better, but this makes a huge difference. Along with that, um, the strap comes with these um, headphones that just drop down, and these are highly adjustable too. You can raise these up and down, and you can get them just right for any players, and I really like that. I think as far as audio solutions for this, this is probably the best one, because these speakers are really in a good quality. Admittedly, I do wish the headset was just a little bit louder, 
but I think that uh, Facebook or Oculus intentionally limited that. But these sound great and you get a nice great surround sound effect with them and it's really nice. So upgrading the strap has made a huge difference. The other thing I wanted to do, now with the PSVR, all the cushions and all the padding is coated in like rubber or vinyl. It can all just be easily wiped down. In my opinion, this setup is a lot more hygienic if you're going to share this with multiple people. And which VR is kind of made for. It's meant to, to show off the new experiences with other players. So that's a key thing. What I've always liked about this is that as needed, I can just wipe it down and sanitize it and it, that's really easy. Now, the base Oculus, everything was cloth. So you have a cloth strap, but then the faceplate is also cloth. And people have complained about that being a skin irritant, the cloth cushion, the sponge on the front here. And enough people have complained about it where if you contact them, Oculus will now actually send you an upgraded face cover that's, uh, I think, leather or like a fake leather. In the meantime, just so that I wouldn't be uh, soaking up a bunch of sweat in the front faceplate here, I got a silicone cover. And I got this for $10 on Amazon. This seems to work great and it, and it attaches really easily. The faceplate uh, just pops off. So the faceplate just pops off and then this you can just, you just tuck this in all around it. And then when it sets into place, it'll just kind of fall into place really nicely. And then while I have this here, what I'll show you as well is the adapter for this is held in place by the faceplate. So this is the little adapter up here. You loop the piece of Velcro that came with the adapter through this, and then when the faceplate's on, that holds it into place. You just pop this on, being careful not to touch the lenses, and it just snaps into place, and that's it. That's held in securely, so now, with the uh, silicone cover, that won't be soaking up sweat, which is great, and it'll be really easy to keep it clean. The last thing I did on this, the cushion on the back of this deluxe audio strap was also a sponge. Uh, you could take this off and you could clean this as needed. But again, just to make it easier, I got this on Amazon as well, and it's a, uh, it's like a padded cushion, but it's coated in leather or like a fake leather. And the other reason I did this, it helps with comfort because this is a little bit more uh, plush. Not a major difference, but it's nice. But then the other thing now is that everything can be wiped down and sanitized when I share this with other people. It'll be really easy to keep it clean and also share it because I can wipe down the headphones, I can wipe down the entire strap. Everything that makes contact when you use it, I can now wipe down completely, keep it sanitized, and it, that's much easier. So I like it for hygienic reasons, um, but also for comfort. Uh, it makes a huge difference in how comfortable the whole kit is. I really like this. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I did to make this both a lot more comfortable to play, um, but also I think more sanitary. So if you get an Oculus Quest 2, these are things I would recommend because you'll probably notice the grievances that I noticed shortly after you get it. One of the only caveats, the size of this, with these speakers sticking out of the side, this will not fit in any of the Oculus Quest 2 cases. You'll have to figure out your own case solution. My PSVR, I just store in this great little uh, case and it keeps it clean and dust free between uses. So I'm gonna have to get something that'll work for this, uh, for this Quest 2 soon. But right now, just for using this, this is great. As far as the Quest 2 itself, I do really like it. The market for games right now is kind of small. There's only a handful of, of what I would say are great games on the Oculus Store, but there's great media stuff you can do. You can watch YouTube videos and VR on it and things like that, and, and Netflix, and there's like a theater app. But one thing you're probably gonna wanna do if you get one of these, you can do what's called side-loading games, where you can put like smaller fan-made games onto it. And right now, like I have a version of Doom 3 that just came out, and it's a faithful recreation of Doom 3 in VR and it's a lot of fun. So that's really cool. You can sideload extra stuff, and if you jump through a few hoops, you can also play Steam games on this wirelessly, which is what I ultimately wanted. And thankfully, I'm able to. So even with my right at the edge gaming laptop of whether it could handle it, I can play Half-Life, which was the game that I really wanted to play with this. And I've been having a blast with it. It's a lot of fun. If you jump through some extra hoops, you can really open up the library uh, currently and the possibilities with it. And I think the Oculus Store, because this is finally selling really well, is gonna grow over time. As far as the hardware itself, I'd say the only thing drawback is battery life. It's only about two hours. That hasn't been an issue for me because typically in VR, I'm not playing uh, for more than a couple hours at a time. You probably shouldn't. <laughs> so the battery life is just okay. But the fact that this is a standalone unit, you can just put this on and just start playing is really great. And another thing I really like about this compared to my PSVR is you can put this on and you can basically just jump right into stuff instantly. Almost like it makes me think of like my Nintendo Switch where you can, it's just instant on or even a phone. And that's a big step for VR in my opinion because usually you gotta do some setup, plug a bunch of stuff in. This you can just put it on and start playing games. And I think that's great. So, uh, so I really like it. I think this thing's a lot of fun. I think it's going to continue to evolve and get better, but I think it's a really neat piece of hardware. And with some upgrades, you can make it really comfortable to play and uh, make it easily adjustable for multiple users. So I really like all the stuff that's been added. And I think I'm finally 
content with it. <laughs> and I don't think I have to buy anything else for it, but except for a case. So anyways, I just wanted to share what I did. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thank you for watching and have a great day.